Hi, I'm Officer McGraw with the Community Engagement Team here at the Ankeny Police Department. I'm here to talk to you today about some simple techniques that you can use to help prevent vehicle burglaries happening within our city. This is Community Service Officer Jared Lister. He's a great officer, but he has a twin brother, Car Burglary Pete. Let's talk about four ways that you can keep old Pete here from wanting to burglarize your vehicle. Step one, for Pete's sake, lock your doors. The best way to keep Pete out of your vehicle is by locking them. Pete has to move quickly to avoid detection and will do a quick pull on the door handle. If it is locked, he will most often move on to the unlocked car next to it. Step two, for Pete's sake, hide your valuables. Purses, electronics, backpacks, and other items should be concealed when left in a vehicle so as not to attract unwanted attention from Pete and his friends. Even placing a blanket over a valuable item can make your car look less appealing to Pete. Do not leave your firearm in the vehicle regardless of whether it's locked or unlocked, but especially if it's unlocked. Step three, for Pete's sake, don't leave your keys in the vehicle. You may be a victim of more than just a burglary if Pete here decides that he likes your wheels and he finds your keys. Most all of the vehicles stolen in Ankeny were stolen and driven away with their own keys. The fourth step, for Pete's sake, report suspicious activity. If you see Pete or someone else walking through a parking lot or a street, pulling on door handles on multiple vehicles, he probably didn't forget which vehicle is actually his, and he is actively burglarizing or attempting to burglarize vehicles. Do not approach him, as some burglars can be armed, dangerous, and unpredictable. Instead, call 911 and provide detailed descriptions of the person engaged in the suspicious activity. If it's safe to do so, try to keep the suspicious person in sight while staying on the phone with police dispatchers as long as possible. By staying on the phone, this helps law enforcement find Pete and his friends and stop them from committing further crimes. By taking these four simple steps, you can help the Ankeny Police Department make sure that Pete doesn't want to come to Ankeny.